This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. Data story. What's nice about this lesson is we actually have two parts to work on it, two separate lessons technically to work on it. That being said, we also, I should have, there we are. We have this document. It's data story time. Background. Computing tools allow people from different fields to learn about data. Yeah, this is known as data science too. It's a whole separate field of study also. By transforming and visualizing data, we find patterns that help us learn about the world. For this project, select a data set from the data library, use the data visualizer to make a visualization that helps us learn something interesting about data. Write a response that explains what your visualization shows, new insights based on your in visualization, possible problems with your analysis. Cool. Okay. So first off, database, database name and short description. So let me head over to data and I already have an idea for what I'm thinking. Let me look at their politics here and I'm going to look at this world democracy index for my example. And there's a ton of great things you can grab within here, something that interests you. So I'm liking how this has the countries, it has their functioning government and it's rated all it's rated throughout this by this world democracy index. So I'm going to go ahead then and hit import. And I'm going to use this for data visualization. So import, and I'm going to now do visualize data. Now I can go ahead and take a look at my document. So what data set am I using? Well, visualize world democracy index. I can almost just boop. And I am, I am using control should be world democracy index. It kind of bothers me that that's bold. Boom. For my uh, I'll just say data set, data set, short description. This data set contains information about countries. And ratings of their government. Now, am I going to end up filtering this data? Yeah, probably, especially to tell a story. So let's go look. I'm going to go ahead and do, so we'll try a few different things. Bucket size five. I don't know 100% yet. Here's pluralism, functioning government. Oh, and keep in mind, right? Functioning government on one side. How many have functioning governments? What if we filter by political participation and it is equal to no I want greater than and there's a lot of different ways you can do this well look at this it doesn't seem like there's that many low functioning governments that have a high level of political pr pr participation let's try a scatter plot now so I'm gonna have the x let's have functioning government and political participation so political participation functioning government. Oh, this is interesting. Although look, they have low level political participation and functioning governments. But what they don't really have, if you notice political participation starts at a seven then. Huh. Oh, because we have, ah, So I might do something like this. Notice that political participation, fun civil liberties. So when people have more, when people participate more within their government, it would look like there are going to be more civil liberties. It is more common for those countries to have a high amount, civil liberties being like freedom of speech and things of this nature. Now I could filter, let's say by, hmm, we have all sorts of stuff to filter by. Let's filter by functioning government and have it not equal to, but greater than five. So we're saying we want a fully functioning government in our data. What if I say greater than seven? Ooh, notice this. Nine. Ha. Huh. So I'm going to, let's say four. 
And you can begin to see a pattern, right? It even actually is going to start to taper off more. Let's look at the difference between 5 and nothing. Greater than or equal to 5. Okay, I'm going to use this as my snapshot. Copy my image. Cool. And paste it here. Hard to see, but it is there. I'm going to zoom in a bit, actually. Did you filter the data? Why or not? Why not? I did, and it wasn't entirely necessary, but I did. Okay, and so I'm explaining why I filtered mine. Now, of course, you're picking different data, and you're not writing exactly I am, because that's cheating. But I did filter my data because I wanted to only consider functioning governments. People might have a lot of civil liberties uh, or a lot of access to different freedoms in a failed society, or not a failed society, a failed government, right? So maybe they don't participate in a political process, but there's no real laws because they have a failed government. What does the, what information does your visualization shows? Oh, okay. So I'm looking at mine here, political participation, civil liberties. Well, what I noticed is the more a country has political participation, it tends to have more civil liberties. That's what I'll state. So the more political participation, the more they enjoy civic liberties. What in new insights or decisions can you can be made based on my visualization? And so you're just interpreting this. Um, I would say if people want more freedom, comma, more civil liberties, they should be more involved, participate more, comma, and their government. Possible problems, including potential bias. Well, so I am, I live in the United States, so part of my bias is I think political participation is good, and that even though it can cause for a longer, longer and slower decision-making process as opposed to authoritarianism, I think it should lead you to more civil liberties. So, part of my... Now, just because I think my bias here is correct, and I do, right, um, it doesn't mean it's not a bias. I do have a bias, right? So part of my possible bias is that I live in a country with a decent amount of civil liberties, and on a good day, a decent amount of political participation. I looked at the data and likely wanted to confirm that, right? Certainly, I wanted to believe that is true. You have more freedom if you participate in your government, or you get to. So I acknowledge that. And then just make sure to go over this real carefully. You can do this, though, with a ton of data sets. It's kind of fun to piece through it and uh, come up with your own narrative and uh, learn a bit while you do it. Good luck. Onward.